This question is taken from class 12 business maths by using properties of determinant we have to prove that so let's take a start take LHS a square a square plus a b and here a b similarly second column b c b square b square plus b c similarly third column a c plus c square a c c square and we have to prove for a square b square c square we can see here here also a square here a, a a from first column we can take a common from second column we can take b column and from third column we have to take c column when you uh, common when you take common you have to take from here also from here also from here also from all three elements okay so let's take common a b c from first column we took a common from second column b common from third column c common what is remaining here a from here a common so remaining here a plus b from here a common so remaining here b similarly from second column b common so b common already here c so c we have to write from b square b is common so remaining b from here also b common so remaining b plus c similarly from third column c common so what is remaining here a plus c and here uh, c common so remaining a so a from c square c common so remaining here c hope you understand up to here now our second aim is to make any two elements zero so we can see here when you subtract a either column either row we cannot get zero so a plus a b c and here we are going to subtract a first row and second row so we can write a minus a minus b c minus b and a plus c minus a what we done here row 1 tends to row 1 minus row 2 and similarly this and this subtract a plus b minus b b minus b minus c and here a minus c so what we we applied here r2 is equal to r2 minus r3 okay to you? and third row we have to write down same b b plus c and here c so let's solve first of all a b c here a and a cancel remaining b minus b here c minus b so c minus b here a and a cancel so c remaining b and b cancel so a b b cancel minus c here a minus c similarly b b plus c and c after this we can see here if we add this and this what we will get row 1 and uh, third row first and last one if we add we get here this one 0 and here we get 2c r1 and r3 let's add it a b c minus b plus b similarly c minus b plus b plus c adding first and last row and here c plus c here a b minus c b plus c here a minus c and c what we done here r1 is to r1 plus r3 now let's add and check it any two elements we have to make it zero a b c here we get zero here b b cancel here we get 2 c and here also 2 c a b minus c b plus c here a minus c and c now we have to look at here any two elements we have to make it zero one element already we have now when you subtract first column and second column 2c minus 2c what we get zero so we can get here a b c after that first column we have to write down same a b c in second column let's apply 2c minus 2c from second column third column subtract minus c minus a and minus and this minus plus c we get this also subtract b plus c minus c and third column we have to write down same 2c a minus c and c what we done here uh, c2 second column from second column we subtracted third column to create 2c why we done like this to get 0 here a b c here we get 0 here also we get 0 here 2c so 2c we have to write down and then a c and c cancel so minus a here a minus c then b c c cancel so b and here c we get this much 
now we have two elements zero so we have to find out the cofactor of this cofactor of 2c what is the cofactor of 2c here we have to write on a b c first positive then negative then again positive so we can write here 2c and what is the minor of 2c what is the minor of 2c a minus a b and b so we can write a minus a b and b and a b c we can write here 2c let's find out the determinant a into b a b minus from formula and minus is here so plus a into b a b when you add this a b plus a b what we get here a b c 2c into a b plus a b 2 a b so a b c 2 c into 2 a b we can get here 2 into 2 4 a b c let's multiply we get 4 a into a a square b square and c square b into b b square c into c c square we have to prove 4 a square b square c c square we get here 4 a square b square c square at last write down rhs proof if you understand this video please hit the like button and please share with your friends